Now, many of you are familiar with the blogger, Will McCray. He is the one that started the church, blogging and reporting news in the African-American church. And uh, at one time, he and Larry Reed were friends. But according to Will McCray, uh, Larry Reed was very deceptive and undermined him uh, in his business and other endeavors that he had going on in Atlanta. So, you know, recently that um, Bishop Carlton Pearson has transitioned and they had uh, different sets of services to honor uh, his transition and home going. Uh, you had Pastor Mike Todd and Gary McIntosh in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They had their services, but people like Yvette Flunder were not invited. And so Larry Reed and others have sponsored their own service in Atlanta, which I think was on the 18th of this week. Now, Will McCray lives right there in Atlanta, right along with Larry Reed. And Will McCray was coming to the service, but then he was disinvited. Now, I don't understand this. First of all, Carlton Pearson is a son of the Church of God in Christ. Will McCray, Elder Will McCray, has also been in the Church of God in Christ for a number of years. And by the way, I'm a daughter of Kojic too. My parents, my grandparents, and my great-grandmother come out of the Church of God in Christ. Let me throw that in there for all those who may uh, want to make a comment. But anyway, uh, I'm sure that Carlton Pearson and Will McRae somehow knew each other long before he even knew uh, Larry Reed. But the fact that he lives in the city and, you know, Will talks about Larry, Larry talks about Will, but really it's not about you, uh, Larry Reed. And, you know, I find him to be very temperamental because, you know, he goes on his programs and calls his guests, people who subscribe to him, people who send him gifts, people who send him cash apps, people who at were uh, subscribed to his Patreon. He calls people uh, dummies because they ask a question. When I have more degrees than you, I have four earned degrees, a bachelor, two masters, and a doctorate and working on another one. But anyway, uh, and uh, one of your relatives that's featured on that album in the left-hand corner, I went to school with her and went to church with them. And they used to uh, stay in my home and they used to stay with me on campus. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. And they sing a whole lot better. But anyway, I just don't understand because Bishop Carter Pearson was the kind of person who loved people, who didn't hold grudges, 
And I just don't understand why you would not allow McCray to come to the services allegedly when really it's going to be so many people there, you probably won't even run across them. But you know, Larry Reed has also had spats with several people. Tasha Kay, they were once friends and had a falling out. Uh, Bishop Lamar Whitehead, uh, he had a major dispute with Genesis Warren and La uh, Larry Reed online. It was really ugly. And, you know, this is just the opposite of what Carlton Pearson represented. And even Bernard, uh, Archbishop Bernard Jordan is a classy person. I just don't understand these young preachers and ministers. They call people names. They insult people. They talk about folks. They ridicule people. I'm just not impressed. I'm just not. And I'm praying. I really am. I am sincerely praying that God will help these generation of young preachers because they don't have anointing and they don't have wisdom. But I just thought that um, you're both bloggers. You both talk about people. They, they all of all of them argue. King Jazz, Will McRae. Larry Reed, Ty East, they all argue. Conscious TV, they're friends, they fall out. They're friends again, they fall out. St. James in California, they all talk about each other. They all hang with each other. So if he wanted to come, I don't know why you wouldn't let him come. And then the way that these two behaved. It was quite distasteful how Bishop Whitehead was calling both of them names. I didn't approve of how either one of the one of them acted. And just to think that these people have children, what type of example are you setting? I'm just disappointed. And knowing that the fact that so many people did not want to come to the final services of um, Bishop Carter Pearson and that you actually refused someone to come since there were so many other people who did not even show their face. I just think that's wrong. But hey, that's me. He that loveth not knoweth not God. And if you really did wear my pray the way you did, he deserves a lot more uh, reparations and uh, re restoration from what you took from him, if that's what you really did, allegedly. <laughs> Bye.